My name is Rachel King. Welcome to the British Museum. We're here today to talk about this splendid cross pendant which was given to the museum in 1983 by Nino Wardrop, the daughter of Sir Oliver Wardrop. And Sir Oliver Wardrop himself was given this in February 1920, not long after he had been appointed Chief Commissioner to Transcaucasia, as it was then known. One afternoon, after hearing a knock on his door, he opened and he was greeted by five women and four young girls, three dressed in white and the other in red, so in the colours of St George's Banner. And one girl stepped forward and offered him this box. She curtsied and she asked him, would he accept this as a gift of happiness for his daughter Nino on the occasion of her Saint's Day? And Saint Nino's Day had been celebrated just a week before. Wardrop was excited about the gift. We don't know exactly what happened in the half an hour or hour afterwards, but the young girls stayed with him, they had a drink, tea was laid out, and the girls played and sang for him. And then that evening he wrote a letter to his wife. He explained the gift and he described it in detail. And it's the pendant you see here in front of you. It's in the form of a cross, it's made of pure gold and it's decorated with lots of different colours of enamel. You see here some green, some turquoise enamel and if I turn it over, beautiful tulips on the back in white and pink. The cross is also highly decorated with different precious stone pearls. We have rubies, we have diamonds and we have a stone called the spinel. But Wardrop wasn't so impressed by this as a high quality object. He was more impressed by the gesture from the women themselves. It was a time of high inflation. He wrote to his wife the fact that the women had collected their money together at a time when things were becoming very expensive was incredibly touching for him. In the weeks afterwards, he researched the provenance of the object a little, but he was unable to find out from which noble or aristocratic family the cross had been bought. Today, after research at the British Museum, in tandem with colleagues in Georgia, we think that this cross was made sometime around 1800, and it's shown on portraits of Georgian nobility. We're going to be displaying this in the British Museum for the first time in its own showcase in the Waddesdon's Bequest Gallery. Mm -hmm. 